Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. Everybody, let's go check out my video. If you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it, check it, video. Check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so much for coming on back. So today, you guys, I am back with another cooking video. Um, just because it's fall and all of my favorite foods are starting to um, come into play where I want to eat these different things. So today we are making some butternut squash soup. Yes, we are because my daughter brought me this squash and I got to do something with it. And I do like butternut squash soup, so we're going to get into it. You're going to need one butternut squash. You're going to need about two teaspoons of garlic. You will need one onion chopped. You're going to need one carrot chopped. You are going to need one potato chopped. Going to need a little bit of thyme and you're going to need some olive oil, some cream cheese, and some chicken stock. I'm not using a lot of butter and cream with this. I'm only going to use like a quarter of this cream cheese and it's still going to come out nice and creamy. And you're going to need a blender or a food processor and salt and pepper. So let's get into it. We have to cut our butternut squash and hollow it out. So let's get that done. And you guys, I think I'm going to do that off camera because this is hard to cut and I'm probably going to have to use my mallet to split it. And I don't want to be banging and making all that noise, so I will be right back. You guys, that actually really wasn't that hard to split. I've been told so many times that it's hard to split, and it really, really wasn't. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just got one that wasn't as big. And I just split it with this knife right here, straight down the middle. It smells like, I don't know, it just smells like a little bit like cantaloupe or something. Um, it's a beautiful orange color. Look at that. Let me see if I can get my lighting together here. Can you guys see how pretty the color of that is? That's a beautiful orange color. So anyway, we're going to hollow that out. And it's best to roast it. Some people will um, cube it up and boil it. Please don't do that. Roast it because you're going to get the best flavor from your butternut squash when it's roasted because it's going to release all of its sugars and it's going to caramelize and it's going to be so good. So you want to roast it. You want those sugars to release. It adds so much flavor. And these seeds look like pumpkin seeds, but I wouldn't roast them like pumpkin seeds. That I would not do. You're going to just throw this away. Put it on my foil because it's going in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes and this takes about an hour to make. Start to finish about an hour. I have my vegetables all pre-chopped but actually while this is in the oven baking you could chop your vegetables then. I just chopped them a little quicker or sooner for this video's sake for the purpose of the video so how's my family doing today it is Tuesday <laughs> but it won't be when you get this video clean that out real good go. There. And I have a bag over here, you guys, that I, I keep bending down to to um, dump some of this fleshy part that we're not going to use. Let me go back in. It's almost like um, pumpkin, actually, when you're hollowing out 
your pumpkin to make a jack-o-lantern. I'm using the carrot because it's going to add some sweetness and it's going to keep the orange flavor for me. Um, some people use a potato and a Granny Smith apple instead of the carrot. I want the carrot. So just get that on your pan. You are going to drizzle it with olive oil. I have olive oil spray, so I'm just going to spray mine. And sprinkle it with my pink Himalayan sea salt. Get down in the, in the crevice, down in the hole there. And I'm going to sprinkle it with some black pepper. I tend to like a more savory butternut squash soup as opposed to a sweet butternut squash soup. You could do it any way you want. Um, if you're going to do sweet, you're going to add some um, warm spices like cinnamon or nutmeg. Sometimes people add a little bit of maple syrup. I choose mine to be savory, so I'm not going to add all that. So we're going to pop this in the oven for about 45 minutes. This is what it's looking like before we put it in. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So I'll see you in just a little bit, guys. So you guys, while we're waiting on that butternut squash to cook and soften up for us, we're going to start our other root vegetables. So I've got some extra virgin olive oil. You can use butter. You can use what you like. I'm using the olive oil. And probably about a teaspoon. I'm going to try not to use a whole lot. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our carrots. We are going to add in the whole onion. And we are going to add in the potato. And the garlic. Let me grab a spoon really quickly here. Get all that garlic out of there. And then we're going to get it on the stove and let it start to and let it start to go ahead and cook up and caramelize as well. Be back when it's done. Okay, you guys, I am back and the butternut squash is cooked and ready to go. You can stick your spoon in it. It's very tender. So you just want to cook it until it's tender. Um, and now we're just going to scoop it out because we are going to, let's see if it's hot. It's a little hot. We're going to um, put it in the food processor. I don't like adding anything super, super hot to the food processor. So I'm going to scoop this out in this bowl and let it kind of cool off a little bit. But it is so, so pretty, you guys. The color on this is amazing. Look at that. It smells really good. So we just want to get it scooped out and into this bowl. And also, while the butternut squash was cooking, I went ahead and I roasted, well, sauteed on the stove, actually, my potatoes, my carrots, my garlic and my onion and I chopped them really small so that they would cook quickly and in here I have four ounces of cream cheese so we're gonna get all this scooped over into this bowl and we'll be right back okay you guys so I have scraped all of the flesh from the butternut squash that made a lot actually just from one squash and I am going to add it to my ninja I'm using my small food processor because I don't know where that big one is. It's buried down in the cabinet somewhere, and I'm not fixing to dig it out. So this will just take a little longer. I'm not going to bore you with watching me process this whole thing. So really what I'm going to do, and it's still kind of hot. I like things to cool off a little bit, but we're going to go with it. 
So I'm just going to add in some of the butternut squash. I am also going to add in some of the carrots, potatoes, and garlic. Add that to the processor. And then what you want to do to give it some liquid, give it some room to work, is add in your chicken stock. And actually the chicken stock is cold, so it should cool off that squash. I'm going to add in some more. Don't want to get it too full. And then I'm going to blend it up. And I will show you guys my finished product when it's all blended and where we're going from there. So you guys, this is the finished product. I did use a whole 32 ounces of the chicken broth. I used the whole container, 32 ounces. And um, I ended up adding a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. And then I did a little bit more salt and pepper. You could definitely use white salt if you don't uh, want the look of black pepper in your soup. I didn't mind it. You really can't see it. And then I just garnished it with a little thyme and a little bit of sunflower seeds. And I'm telling you, it came out really nice. It's super creamy without using all the butter and the cream. Just that four ounces of cream cheese really worked out well. If you don't want to use carrot, you can um, use sweet potato and it still gives it a wonderful taste. So you can really switch it up with your vegetables, but the butternut squash is really the star of the show. I'm going to have this with a sandwich. I'm going to do a ham and Swiss cheese sandwich, probably on a bread that's really hearty that can stand up to the soup. So the bread is going to be like a sourdough and I'm going to toast that. So I will be definitely doing a mukbang on this, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell all your friends and family about these Delicious Bites, and maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. As always, I believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. So, until I see you, and you see me. Be beautiful, be blessed, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys.